an opening partnership is Graham Gooch and Desmond Haynes. Graham Gooch, my first England captain, just wonderful player, full stop. Desmond Haynes played a couple of series against him, played a lot of county cricket against him. Destructive opening batsman, always looked to take the attacking option. Number three, New Zealand's Martin Crowe. One of the most graceful players I played against, always looked in full control, whether it was against a new ball or old. At number four, the legendary world record holder, Brian Lara. In the mid-90s, I can't believe there's been a better player. He made batting look easy. His bat looked about four foot wide whenever we bowled to him. And at number five is India's hero, Mr Sachin Tendulkar. His record speaks for itself. Quality player, quality person. At number six, I've given that to Steve Waugh, probably the toughest cookie I played against. Not the most naturally talented, but wonderful person to come in at that number six, whether you're in trouble or whether you're already on top of the opposition. Number seven, Adam Gilchrist, non-negotiable, the best batsman wicketkeeper the game has ever seen. And at number eight, I've gone for Wazi Makran, Pakistan's left arm, quick and also handy batsman. Then new ball or old, destructive bowler. At number nine, I've gone for probably the, one of the best bowlers the world has ever seen, one of the best test records, and that's Malcolm Marshall. Quick, could swing the ball both ways, wonderful strike rate, tough customer to play against. Number 10, I've gone for the king of spin, Shane Warne. I'm also going to make him captain as well. I believe he has a, an excellent cricket brain, always took the attacking options, but he mastered the hardest art in the game, which is leg spin, and again, his record speaks for itself. And at number 11, gone for the West Indian giant in Kirtley Ambrose. Never bowled a bad ball, tough to bat against, and also a great bowler. So that was my all-time 11. What's yours?